Hey y'all, it's another episode of your girl Pretty in Purple. What's goody? And she have your beautiful guest, Kimmy Unlimited. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> and today's topic is what is your fear? And we all know everybody has a fear. And um, my fear tends to be spiders and snakes. That's my two top fears. And I'm going to start off saying this. Uh, my dad knows my fear of spiders. And I would never forget this day because it's, even Mark, you could tell you, we're never going to forget this day. This day was one morning, early morning, it, but it was dark, but it was probably like six o'clock, you know, and you can't really see outside. It's still dark, you know, so I'm walking to my car, getting ready to go to work. Mark sends, walks me to the car. He always walks me to the car. Aww. So <laughs> I sit in the car and as soon as I was about to put my hand in the wheel, I see to my left on my side of the you know the dashboard whatever you want to call it a big white spider i freaked out i screamed i jumped out the car i was like mark mark there's a spider in my car he's like he's turning back walking he's like what a spider i was like mark i'm telling you this is a big old spider i had the door closed and then he's like he came and he saw he's like holy shit he's like oh snap let me get my raid and i was like i have a raid too in my in my back of my trunk See, he got my raid and he got his raid. Why you guys just have just raid just hanging out? Cause <laughs> spiders, 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 spiders. And if I see a spider raid, you know I have that raid ready for attacking that spider. So Mark came back creeping, like you know, creeping to the spider. And now, mind you, that spider was still just chilling, like chilling, like nothing, nothing's bothering him. No. So he, Mark is creeping with a two spray can. <laughs> He sprayed it the crap out of the spider. And all you see is a raid like falling down from the dashboard. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, the spider's still not moving. It's still there. I called my mom. I was like, mom, did dad go in my car and put a fake spider? Because my dad, he's a prankster. If you know my dad, he pranks. He loves to prank people. So she's like, no, your dad never went to your car. At this time, I was still living with my parents. So she was like, no, he never went to your car. And I was like, no, this has to be my dad. Mark touches the spider, and the spider was fake. And I was like, can you please touch it? Even though it's fake, I don't want to touch it. He touched it. And then I tried to call my dad in the meantime. My dad didn't pick up. My mom called me back saying, oh, your dad did put a fake spider in your car. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. I was so mad. I was like, oh, my gosh. I can't stand him. Why would he do that? I could have had a heart attack in the car, blah, blah, blah. And then the next minute later, my dad called me. <laughs> he just thought it was the funniest thing yes. in the world. He was laughing. Oh, you found the spider in your car. <laughs> I was like, yeah, too bad you didn't make money off of me because you you would have made so much money off of me if you saw how, how I reacted. And mind you, I, I hate spiders. And even baby spiders, I'll freak out. So that was one time with, you know, a freak prank. But recently, I... I was going to a doctor's appointment and I went, you know, I was while leaving. she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> going to a doctor's appointment, walking to my car. Now, I know nobody could prank me with a spider at this time because, you know, I'm at work and my dad's at work. Everybody's at work. I'm going inside the car and what did I see? A big spider on my window shield. And I was thinking, okay, baby is outside. You know, Lord, you know, it's outside, you know. So I flipped the wiper and it didn't move. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Holy cow, what am I going to do? Because I have to make it to the appointment on time. So I rushed back inside the building. I was like, yo, I have a spider in my car. Can somebody help me? Where's the road spray? Where's all the, you know, people have given me window washers and all this kind of crap. And I was like, this other girl was like, you know what? I'll help you because you're pregnant. I don't like spiders, but I'll help you. And I was like, okay, no problem. Well, so <laughs> while we were walking, another coworker came. I was like, girl, we need you. She's like, why? I was like, we had to kill this spider. She's like, no. We're not just Spanish. So you're like, no, we're not going to kill the spider. And then the other girl was like, no, we're going to kill this spider. We're going to kill it. Today. Yeah. So we walked to the car. Guess what? The spider gone. And I'm like, holy crap. Where is the spider? Because I can't drive a car with a spider in my car. Because it can just pop up in your face and car, cause a car accident. And I don't, I'm not trying to risk my life and the baby's life. So they're looking. They're like, Kim, you're going to be fine. The spider is gone in the engine. I was like, how do you know? How do you know if the spider went into the engine? Because let's find where he actually went. So I was like, you know what? Fine. Then let me just hurry up to my appointment. So I call my mom. Tell my mom, like, mom, I need you to calm me down. Because my mom, she's, you know, that's the only person I know that will be available at the time. I'm calling to my mom. 
blah 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 made it to the appointment safe and sound god was with me he knows <laughs> he knows kim would cause the accident so <laughs> god was good. yes thank you lord but after the appointment I oh, walked to the car, right? And I'm thinking, oh, mom, yeah, everything is fine. This is what happened at the appointment. Sit down, put the car on, turn the car on, throw my purse to the side, to the passenger. And then when I put the seatbelt on, I see this friendly Charlotte the Web hanging down saying, hello. I'm telling you, this spider was not a small spider. I'm telling you, this spider was big. Um, and I still don't understand how, to this day, how the hell she, he or she got in my car. I screamed, I freaked out, I jumped out of the car, the car is still running, I'm like acting a fool, my mom was like, what's wrong? I was like, mom, there's a spider in my car, the spider came back, and then she's like, calm down, Kim, calm down, just take your shoes off. No, I can't. She's like, take your shoe off and knock it down. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I can't touch them, I can't do anything with spiders. People outside probably thought I was crazy, I didn't give a damn. (laughs) So I was like, I remember I saw this lady in the car, so I walked over to her, I was like, listen lady, I really need your help. I have a spider in my car she was on the phone and i was like i really need your help i i i, I need a spider on my car she was like okay hold on I, and i was like are you scared of spiders she was like i, I don't like spiders but i'll do it for you oh, i was like so I, I know i was like okay thank you so she broke her umbrella she got over to the car and she opened the door she's like where's the spider i was like don't you see it hanging i was like it's right there hang it's still hanging i was surprised i thought it was gonna go away it's still hanging she got the umbrella she knocked it down and then she grabbed it and she threw it in the floor and she's like, baby, get in the car, get in the car, hurry up before it gets it gets in the car. I was like, is it dead? You know, is it, where is it at? She said she threw it, but I need to see me. I need to see it dead, flat on the floor, so I know I'm okay. She's like, get in the car. And I was like, I still didn't get in the car, even though she walked away. I was like, I'll pay you for your kind service. And she's like, no, you don't have to pay me, baby. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Because I felt like she didn't have to do what she did, you know, like. Personally, I was. So she was on the phone. Yeah. (laughs) So I got back in the car, drove home. I mean, drove back to work. I talked to my mom. I I cried because spiders. Please don't use that against me, y'all. If y'all know me, please don't use that against me. Because I will have a heart attack and pass out, and I don't want to be in early labor. That's why you can't be telling people. Yeah. (laughs) I know. They use it against you. I'm so true, just like my dad. (laughs) But yeah, that was my experience with a spider, and never, never again. I will forget. Every day since this day, I check my car before I go inside the car. The ceiling, the windows, the sides, everywhere. Everywhere I check before I get into the car, if you know me. <laughs> but yeah, that's my fear. What's your fear, girlfriend? Well, everyone who knows me knows that it's not even a fear. It's more like a phobia. <laughs> <laughs> but of uh, brooches. And specifically cockroaches because they're way bigger and they fly. And they're gross. Like the like palmetto bite. Yeah. So anyway, so I think one of the most memorable... I guess experiences I went through. One of them is one time I went to visit someone in the hospital, and it was pretty early. Oh, I think I remember. Oh, girl, <laughs> it was at a hospital, at a hospital, at, a hospital. at all, all places years. where the places should be clean. Thank you. <laughs> it was about seven o'clock in the morning. I went to visit this person in the hospital, and I'm talking. I'm sitting on the little chair, like off to the side of you know the hospital bed, talking to the patient, and. Again, it's like 7 o'clock. It's really early. Nobody else in the hospital is up. Just probably me and that patient. (laughs) And I'm just sitting on the chair talking to the patient. And then all of a sudden, I start feeling this thing on my foot. Like, Mm. it was like, you know, a ticklish feeling. And I didn't think to look down or anything, but I still did just because, you know, I wanted to to, you know, no, I, was, the hell? I wasn't expecting that. Like, I was not expecting that. was the last thing I was expecting. So I look down, and guess what I see? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was about this big. Oh. And it had touched my foot. <laughs> so I, I got so scared, of course, duh. <laughs> I jumped up on the chair. <laughs> I jumped up on the chair in the hospital room. I'm standing there, and I am screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> I don't know if I told you this already, but I said it was 7 o'clock. At the hospital. In the morning, at the hospital. <laughs> so, not only am I standing on top of a chair, but I'm also doing it in the hospital where there are a lot of other sick and sleeping 
people there <laughs> and I am just going off until the thing ran away I guess he ran away from my screen I don't even think it was anything else but he just took off running he or she whatever the nasty little bastard was <laughs> got up and like ran scurried away and I after five minutes after I calmed down and I was able to speak I was like all right I I gotta go <laughs> so I I left, you know. Did anybody, my, any of the doctors or nurses came in say, is there There were, there was a nurse in the room, which is funny because she never said anything the whole time. She just, <laughs> she just stood there staring at me. <laughs> I didn't even realize she was there until like after everything played out. You know when you like, you just yeah. there in that moment and you're just not paying attention. Like you don't see anything else. All you see is red and that cockroach. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel you. So yeah, so I got up, I left, or I kind of jumped off of the chair because I was afraid to like touch the ground but i jumped <laughs> off of the chair and i never came back to visit them again their whole stay at the oh hospital oh my god because you know my fear of cockroaches actually took away me wanting to sit there with the sick person and be there for them by their bedside but you know what i don't play with those cockroaches i don't care no <laughs> thank you no ma'am no <laughs> yeah so yeah that's my story that's my most i think that was one of the most memorable experience i guess because of where it was like, yeah at a hospital, at a hospital i'm like listen i would give you guys bad ratings okay i would rate your hospital wherever I'm at and I'm like don't go there because there's roaches mm -hmm. yeah at all places it's supposed to be clean it and is. cleansed it's supposed to be the cleanest place you know mm. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of the For germs real. they just bring more germs no but yeah so that's our fears our main fears um if you guys have any fears please let us know yes share your you know share your fear you know because I another thing I don't like is snakes you know like that's another big thing, you know, snakes. And we're going to uh, do a video on snakes. Yes. We have a big story to tell you on snakes. Yes. So please stay in tune and subscribe. Please don't be shy. We'll subscribe back to you too. We will. Okay, boom. Just comment and we'll do it. Yes. And if you want to collab, let us know. We would love to collab. We love meeting new people. We do. Okay. So I hope you guys have a blessed weekend or blessed day, whichever day you're watching this on. And you already know. <laughs> comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, perps. <laughs> <laughs>